Prince Harry has thanked a number of health experts and coaches in his memoir Spare, including an A-list chiropractor championed by Gwyneth Paltrow, but fails to acknowledge any royal family members. Harry's Tell All memoir was released on Tuesday, quickly breaking sales records in Britain to sell more copies on publication day than any other non-fiction book has. This came despite the book's content being leaked to the media before the launch, when organizations were able to obtain unauthorized copies. Throughout Spare, Harry makes numerous intimate revelations about the realities of royal life, including a detailed account of his family's little-known working relationships with the British press, from the Prince's viewpoint. Also revealed by Harry are assessments of his relationships with individual royal family members including King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton. Despite this, and in doing so having revealed the contents of private conversations and, in the case of Kate, private text messages, Harry does not thank them in the acknowledgments section. Instead, he lists celebrity friends, his mother's sisters and health experts. Among the professionals, medical experts, and coaches thanked by the Prince for keeping me physically and mentally strong over the years, is John Amaral, a Los Angeles-based chiropractor, energy practitioner, author and educator. Amaral is known for his self-developed energy flow formula, which combines body and energy work to include mindfulness, meditation and breathing. The practitioner has been championed by Oscar-winning actress Gwyneth Paltrow, who has included him in episodes of her Netflix and podcast series with her Goop organization. As well as Amaral, Harry also thanks physiotherapist Kevin Lidlow, who has worked with the Great Britain Olympic team, and performance coach Winston Squire, who has spent 15 years with the English National Polo Organization. Celebrity friends who were given a personal thanks from the Prince include Oprah Winfrey and James Corden, as well as Tyler Perry and Coldplay frontman Chris Martin. Perry in particular has played a major role in the Prince's life since Harry and Meghan Markle left the British monarchy in 2020 and moved to the U. S. When it was made clear that in March 2020 that the royal couple would lose their state-funded bodyguards, owing to them no longer undertaking public work, the couple moved into Perry's Los Angeles home. The actor-director also paid for private security. In the couple's 2022 Netflix docuseries Harry Meghan, they revealed that they had made Perry godfather to their daughter, Lilibet. Though no members of the royal family are mentioned in the acknowledgments, Harry's relations on his maternal Spencer side do get special thanks. Stand out thanks to my mother's siblings for their love, support, time, and perspective, the prince wrote. Princess Diana was born Lady Diana Spencer, a member of the old and aristocratic Spencer family. She has three siblings, Lady Jane Fellows, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Charles, Earl Spencer. Prince Harry was photographed with his aunts and uncle at the unveiling of a statue of Diana in the gardens of Kensington Palace in London in 2021, commemorating what would have been her 60th birthday. In response to the memoir and its claims, members of the royal family have been silent, with Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace officials adopting no comment positions. King Charles, Prince William and Kate Middleton all attended public engagements on Thursday, with the Prince of Wales being asked by a journalist in the crowd in Birkenhead, Northwest England, have you had a chance to read your brother's book? No answer was given by William. Newsweek approached representatives of Prince Harry and John Amaral for comment. James Crawford Smith is Newsweek's royal reporter based in London. You can find him on Twitter at, at J.R. Crawford Smith and read his stories on Newsweek's The Royals Facebook page. Do you have a question about King Charles III, William and Kate, Meghan and Harry, or their family that you would like our experienced royal correspondents to answer? Email royals at newsweek.com. We'd love to hear from you.